a wonderfully warm greeting to all the watchers of this channel. Check out all my little critters helping out with my pen cleaning process. And why am I cleaning that pen? Because I've got two unboxings to share with you. So first, let's go ahead and open something from River City. River City Pen Company. I recently did an interview with Rich Paul was awesome. Okay, here we go. Oh, smaller box in a box. Well, that's good because I send lots of boxes so I can definitely reuse this box. It's probably gonna be for the next ink winner, right? Um, the person who won the 500th subscriber just got their ink package in. They let me know on the Discord, which you guys will be getting some details about soon. Alright, unboxing of River City. So I have two River City pens, however I bought them secondhand from other previous owners. So this is my first actual experience here. So ooh, let's go in here, what do we get? Nice. Supervisor Charlie. And we got the pen, cool. Oh, cool. You turn that over, it's exactly what I ordered. And he signed it as well. He just said, thanks, Michael. You are welcome, sir. Thank you for all that you do, and thank you for this. This is going to be sweet. A unique little bag. That's good. Especially when you go to a lot of pen shows, it'll protect it while it's in your uh, other bag. Oh, cool. I got the Ocean Sun Mini. And this is for a dip nib. Notably, my Kakamore. So you can see the Mini compared to the actual one. This one is like very big. It's almost like a paintbrush, but you really, I really don't need that much. So I'm gonna try a mini here and then see how that goes. So we're just gonna pop this out. Okay. I find it helps to give a little bit of torque like twist that way, but you don't have to, it could come right out. And then we're gonna go ahead and slip that in here. There you go. If you notice, I'll pull it out again. The Kakamori nib here has this tiny grind right there and it's um, you know all the way around the nib but that really lets you know that it's seated well because that should match up with your nib holder of choice and now this is actually a more usable and comfortable experience look at the grips right it comes out a lot more orange on camera in real life it's a lot more blue oh, I can't wait to use this all right, little snake, do your thing. All right, our next beauty is coming from Fountain Pen Revolution. Ooh, and I got two things. So first I got some Henry Thoreau ink and I had a channel sponsor, Hellcat, send me a sample of this ink, I think it was. I think it was Hellcat. And I really did like it. So I went ahead and I got some kind of simplistic bottle. I guess he would like that, right? All right, let's go. Next. A little sticker. Nice, nice. Thank you. Get an extra 15% off my next order. And here you go. This is my new nib. This is a gold full flex nib. This is going to be really cool. And a definite upgrade to the stainless medium. All right, so I've already cleaned everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can. There it is. Felt it click in. Now I've got to consider some inks. So I hadn't even got that far. You know what? We're doing the Walden. Let's set up our area real quick. Good, nice fill there. We are gonna cap up our Walden. And then go ahead and clean our nib before use. And it doesn't hurt if you do wanna go ahead and 
put the body on for this part so you're not you want to make sure that you're not like torquing the converter around while you do this process there we go cool and now just got to get the nib itself that is no presentation for a beautiful nib when you do this just try not to go down that center line this one's extra long because it's a flex oh see i did and it just immediately sucked up ink so make sure you're, you're not going over that center line. And also you don't want to touch the feed. If you touch that feed down below, it's, you're going to start sucking up ink. So just like very gentle strokes down and away from that feed line should get you a nice pretty nib. All right, let's try this. I can't wait. It is really cool that he is engraving his nibs now. That is really cool. RT. It's a nice medium. I'll use that at some point. This modern flex nib that is a gold nib from FPR Pens. And this down here is the Mag 600. I uh, could tell because I, I have a shimmer ink in this and I would never put a shimmer in my vintages. And I haven't used a 743 in a while. So this is definitely the Mag 600. Here we go. So this one, little line there. Yep, we're flowing well. So this one is, an, that's nice. A little bit wet, but it was a brand new fell. It's got a good flex. It's almost a little too wet. So it is a very wet, wet noodle, as they say, right? But it is a very noticeable flex, even in comparison to the, uh, the Mag 600. The actual slit of the tines goes all the way back to about here. So this actually splits the tines into almost double the length. So that would also be a good explanation for why this is so wide comparatively. But look at this, I'm, as I've been talking, um, I'll, I'll probably edit some of this out, but it's been at least 20 seconds and this is still drying on the super flex parts. So this is definitely a wet noodle as that were. So if you're looking for something that is uh, quick drying, this one might not be the nib for you. So it is not quick dry when that is a beautiful flex though. I might try this with a drier ink or a uh, ink with some different properties to kind of slow it down there. All right, so I'm not even gonna wait. Uh, it's already been about 45 seconds up to a minute and it's still nowhere close to dry. This, and my, like I said, my original strokes here, they're still not even dry. So this is gonna take forever to dry, but that might mean that it's good for, let me see up here, letter openings maybe? There we go. So absolutely no railroading because this thing is like a wet noodle on a nice regal big old pen like this. That's kind of what I was after, right? This is the kind of pen that you are using for big old treatise signings when you are at your next gathering of international diplomats. And while we're at it, we're going to get you a dip nib sample of the same ink here. Oh, you know what? I should do this in the... Uh, the dip nib book. Okay, hold on, people. You are deserving of such things. I'm gonna use my. <gasps> oh shit! Uh, Fraggle Rock. Oh, this is bad, people. This is bad. Goodness. This is not going well for me. But on the upside, my desk has this awesome new sheen. And if you look down here, at least it's water-based. So if you just keep dumping water and soaking, you will be okay. 
And that's what we do, my friends. Wow, first time for everything, right? Ah, don't blot it too much. Look at that. Ah. All right, guys, so I've found if you do large swipes, it just kind of gets it everywhere. Small swipes in the local area. That's what you really need to do to get these out. And lots of water. This is water-based ink, so this will come out if I spend the time. Then I gotta clean the escritoire too, but it's another story. We're coming along nicely. Cause it's gonna take a time, a whole lot of spending time. Because I was stupid and didn't cap up on my ink and now I'm spending time because I didn't think. I found a guitar pick. Win. Casualty of war. I will remember you. Another use for compressed air. Getting ink out from behind hinges. Second drawer up, you can see some got into the crevices where I tried to clean. All right, well, it's probably been 15, 20 minutes worth of cleaning. I took all the drawers out of here. Still have a spot I gotta hit right there, I see. But if you get it, it's water-based, so you should be fine. I was lucky here because my ink was only color and sheen, which means no shimmer. If I did have shimmer, this would probably look like a crime scene of a strip club. So luckily for me, no shimmer to uh, get glittery parts everywhere. Desk cleaned well enough. What I will say is areas that weren't recently well uh, oiled with Old English, they did absorb some color. So like here and here. I will let you know though if I Old English, if that'll kind of come out too. Otherwise this part, pretty much immaculate now that I've cleaned it. The rug, pretty much immaculate now that I've cleaned it. Luckily no shimmer, and let's get back into the thick of it. Let's look. Yeah, I can feel the bottles about there. It's a, I spilled about three quarters of the bottle, so that really sucks. Not only that, but if I spilled that much, I'm gonna have a difficult time getting a fill. Also, I can guarantee you my wife is gonna make a joke about me having a date with Smurfette tonight. But just like those people who deliver our letters, Right? Uh, what do they say? Rain, nor snow, nor sleet. Nothing can stop us, pretty much. And that's where we're at right now, guys. I'm going to get you that dip nib sample if it's the last thing I do. Dip nib book. This is why stickers are cool. You differentiate all these little millions of notebooks. Oh, here we go. Shooting Star, Ruby Blue, River of Fire. Another one or two. Oh, what do we have here? Wearing gold Hades. That one actually has a, a nice blue shimmer to it. But anyway, I'm getting back to the wall then. Good God, this this is the ink that got me, guys. When you're writing with these, if you spin it, you get like a new pocket. So if you start to run dry, you spin it a little bit, and then you access one of those pockets. So that's really a trick to these little nibs here. Now you can see that awesome sheen that comes with the Walden. It's a wonderful teal with a nice red sheen. Even though I got a little bit more than I asked for, huh? This nip holder did work excellently though. And it is quite gorgeous. Definitely an upgrade. All right, well, thank you for coming along with this disastrously crazy journey um stick with us for more fun escapades because this is the real life people we're living it and i am showing you i'm not editing this out well at least rob's pen now has a beautiful flex that is befitting of the grandeur of this pen take care everybody i hope you had a wonderful time Please follow some basic instructions, such as capping your ink as soon as you can. Until next time, this has been Zen of the Pen, signing off. My wife's definitely going to ask about Smurfette. <laughs>